community in here that's bright in communities in here intersecting. Uh, I see a lot of uh, Apple notebooks. How many uh, Apple notebooks? Just raise your hand. I mean, I can see, but quite a few. <laughs> I'm not going to, yeah, just raise your notebook. Uh, I don't want to pick on the Vista users. I kind of I beat that dead horse. Uh, that's, that's a community, right? It, it's a community that, that's just there. You're, you're probably passionate about it, as Apple users tend to be. Um, sometimes a little too passionate. But you care a lot about the product, potentially. Maybe you have an iPhone, maybe you have other Apple products. You become an evangelist without even realizing that you're an evangelist because you love the product. Maybe you don't love the product, but you're using it anyway because everybody else is. Is it the company or is it the community? Well, it's a little of both. But the company's created something that the community wants. I didn't like the iPhone when Apple first released it. I really, in fact, I, I've eaten a lot of crow for posting 20 reasons why I wasn't going to use the iPhone. And then a month later, <laughs> you know what did it for me? The weather app. It freaked me out. I was like, it can't be this usable. I've been using mobile devices for so long, it's not this usable. It was such a shift in thinking. I actually cared about a mobile device for the first time in my life. <laughs> After saying, no, it's not going to happen. But it did. And I'm not the only one who likes the iPhone, who likes Mac OS X, who thinks it's a wonderful choice for consumers. But it's not the company that's telling me. It's, it's feeling like I identify with my computer. Like, I feel for technology. I grew up with PCs. I used to make fun of people like me. Of course, people make fun of people like me all the time. It's not going to stop them. But it's not about the company that creates the product. So much it is the culture. I mean, I, 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 mean, I see you've got, you, you've got an Apple, a notebook, you've got an Apple. I can connect. We, we can connect. We can talk about our favorite apps. An iPhone. We can talk about our favorite apps. It's the culture. Look at Forget the company. I said this about Macworld, too, with Apple dropping out. I don't think it's as big a deal as people have made it out to be. Because uh, the Macworld is more about the community than it is the company. That is my opinion. As far as everything here is certain deal. Back in the day, hey, back in the day, I may not look it, but I am 35 years old. Been online, as I said, since 1992. It was before the web. Hard to believe. I would connect with other people using news groups and BBSs. You I would, fingered people? What's I fingered people. I fingered Coke machines. <laughs> I subscribed to Scott Yanoff's list of things to do on the internet. It was, it, was a, it was a piece of text that told you what you could do online. And it was the definitive resource of what you could do online. I'm sorry, not to make some of you feel young. <laughs> Maybe I am. But you would only be able to go to certain places to communicate. You had to go there. If I wanted to talk about The Simpsons, if I wanted to talk about Weird Al Yankovic, if I wanted to you know, share my ASCII art. If I wanted to, uh, you know, do one thing, I would have to go there because that was the only place that existed for that uh, affinity. <laughs> for sharing, bless you, for sharing information. <laughs> and it's not that way anymore. It's not, and that's a, that's a good thing. Instead of community existing in, in just one little pocket, it's everywhere. It's, it's okay to be everywhere, but just keep that in mind. 